Alright, no, let's see if we can get him. But you know who is? Christ is. He was faithful and true. He humbled himself, came down off of his throne, came into this world. He lived a perfect life. He was perfect in thought, word, and so the Bible says not to engage in He loved God the Father. With all his heart and mind and soul. He did what no man has ever done. He fulfilled the very law of God. And the Bible says that he humbled himself. To the point of death. See, that, that's a demon that's Even manifested in him that's trying to get us to, to not spread the gospel. Christ lived a perfect life and he went to the cross like a lamb led to the slaughter without saying a moment in word. He was stretched out, had spikes nailed in his hands and in his feet, and he was lifted up. And he said, If I be lifted up, I will draw all men. Unto me. And Christ was lifted up between God and men. As a mediator between God and men. And God put on his wrath upon his son. The very wrath that we rightfully deserve as sinners. Yeah, you're just wasting our time. And before he gave up his breath, he said, It is finished. He paid the penalty for sinners upon the cross. He gave up his last breath. They took him down off of that cross and they buried him in the ground because he was dead. The wages of sin is death. Daddy, but he didn't shoes. die for his own oh, sins. Why? Um, he died for the sins of his to own people. Yet three days later, with Chloe? he rose yes, from the Chloe. grave right. victoriously and ascended on high. And today he offers you eternal life in his name. So we, as ambassadors of Jesus Christ, we plead with you this evening. You want a headset? To turn from your sin. Oh, no, I'm good. You're good? Put your faith and trust in the Son. We plead with you that you would come to Christ this very night. That you would turn and put your faith and trust in Him who defeated death, hell, and the grave. Sir, I can't go home yet. Because there are people who need to hear the gospel. There are people who are on their way to hell. So we come to tell you the truth. Amen, amen. So on that day, you'll have no excuse. Because you told somebody to go home that came to tell you the words of eternal life. These are the only words that say, only Christ saves sinners, not the Pope. Not Mary, not Muhammad, not Allah, but Christ. So we plead with you as ambassador of Christ to turn and put your faith and trust in Him. His word says that God resists the proud, but He gives grace to the humble. You need God's grace, His free gift of eternal life. So I plead with you tonight, run to the cross, run to Christ while you still have time. Repent tonight and believe the gospel. Amen. Okay.